Yo, what's up guys? This is Jazz from the Tree Gamer here. Welcome back to another playthrough for Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, we're just gonna start uh, the main campaign mission which is du which is entitled as Dutch. So Arthur, with that said, Arthur. let's do this. What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. All right. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Hey, that's my old horse. What's up, yo? And we can brush this. Okay. Too long, girl. Let's go. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Yep. Indeed he is. Let me go first. <laughs> Someone got here first. So oh. it seems. Let's see. Social call. Check the house. This food barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Okay, gonna take that. What else? You see anything there? There's some blood here. That ain't good. Alright, what else? Pretty recently, I'd say. Look, I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. Come on. But no body? Not yet. We should get going. They went down the path here. How's it tracking it. these days? All right. 
I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can try. Oh, he's the oh, From that there far, it. if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find him. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> You seen a strange sort of feller, sort of formal, strange, sure, formal, nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in. All right. Gotta fight. You stay there. I wanna take this hat. Can I? No man. Where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell! Better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me just choke him out. All right, that should do it. Follow me. I think there's a way around. Hey! So we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. <laughs> Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean... How much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's a special talent, keeping fish on the line.
silence between. Be I was about to say the silence between them, but Whoa. oh man. After that attack, oh. this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. For uh, so your life. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them off. I can handle this. All right. Three of them, huh? Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. They've gone into the cornfield. We need to flush them out. Oh, I just saw him. Okay, this is really annoying. It's not here. Don't no, tell me. What the hell? I'm telling you now. You boys ain't leaving here. I'm serious, man. This only happens to me when I'm recording. Come on, where are they? Don't even see them. Saying I don't see him. I see it. He stumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Oh. Oh my God! I had the worst. Okay. Take him. Get out of here. You have my friend. This is not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> Wait, that gun is rare. Yeah. 
Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. Okay. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, I want to loot these guys for real. They're too Seems like damaged. we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Okay, there he is. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Yeah, could I have? I think I reached just, well, he's just still here $120 just looting them. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? They were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the universe. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems... You stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. All right. So what's the next nearest mission? I don't want to do any side missions now. Uh, yeah, all the way on to camp Trelawney or Micah. Eh, oh, let me do Trelawney real quick. Alright, guys, uh, I'll meet you guys before I start a mission as always. Alright, guys, we've reached Trelawney, and my checkpoint is legit right next to him, so yeah. I didn't want to subdue the checkpoint, so I just wanted to go to him straight away. Arthur! Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No. Never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Okay. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rose. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial 
standing until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Seems to be like hitching horses is a very big thing in this game. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Mrs. is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well... Goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Okay. I'm not gonna read that. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my mom okay. was calling me. Okay, let's go this way. Yeah, you know. Hey! What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, Strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. Okay, 
This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. What were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping a complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. <laughs> there it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. to have gone faster than I thought. Samson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Okay. Okay, that was rather simple. I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Okay, that was bad. Now what?
Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Hmm. All right, that's not bad of a take. Eh, that was my bad. Okay then, guys. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next playthrough. Uh, if you guys loved it, do leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and do leave a notification. Do hit the notification bell, so you guys will be notified for the next pl playthrough for the Last of Us, and also Red Dead Redemption 2. And with that said, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next playthrough.